Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to create a social media callout in Adobe Premiere Pro. And we're actually gonna create it in a way such that we can save it as a template so we only have to create it once and then we can just drag it into any composition in the future that we want and it'll just call out to our social media. So it's gonna look a little something like this right here. We just have it come in in the bottom right there in like a little fun animated way. Then after about four and a half seconds, it fades out. And like I said, we're going to make it so that we can put it anywhere we want after this. So let's just get started on this. We need to do this a specific way. First off, we need to create a text element. So let's just click, and this is where we're gonna actually, you know, say follow me at this. So we can go follow me at, and then, you know, whatever your, your handle is, my handle, like so. And so now we have the text created. What this actually does, and the reason we need to do this first, is this creates us a graphic element over here. Now, there's two ways that we might go about this. We could take uh, the Instagram sort of logo and drag it into the footage and you know bring it down and work it out, but the problem with that is that it's gonna be a photo element, not a graphic element, and that means we won't be able to save it as a template. So instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this, and up here in the essential graphics, there's this little new layer button. We're gonna go from file, and then we're just going to select that one, which is the transparent logo right there. And now it's actually a template. It's a part of the graphics panel, which means, like I said, it can become a template later. So once we're inside of this single graphics panel, we're going to go up to the effect controls. And on the left side here, we have the text, which is, you know, our text right there. And then we have our image right here. So our image, we're going to go ahead and bring the scale down. We're going to uncheck uniform and bring these both down to 16. And then we're going to move it into place. So we're going to grab it, drag it right over there. And yeah, that looks good right there. And then what we need to do is we need to go into it. So we're going to zoom in just a little bit here, maybe down about 25, or actually we need zoomed in, so about 75%. And then we're going to click on it, and you see this, this is the center point. We want to drag that to the left right over here. And this is just going to make it so that whenever we scale it, it'll scale from this point, and now we can have it come out like that. We're then going to go to the very beginning of this clip, click on the horizontal scale, and then move forward 15 frames. Or let's set this to zero to start off with. And then move forward 15 frames. So I'm holding shift, so it's one, two, three clicks to go to frame 15. And then we're gonna type in 16 here. And then to make it look a little better, we can right click, easy out, right click, easy in, and then click down the down arrow, and then just drag it out. And what this is going to do is it's going to add that little sort of pop effect to it. And we can drag it a little bit more, maybe. And let's see, maybe adjust it some. And there we go. Now we have like a little pop effect as it comes out. Next, we're going to want to animate the text right here. So we're going to go ahead and make sure this is in a correct position. And then as this is coming in, so maybe right about here, we're going to go up to the text. And the text is right here, and we're going to go down to its opacity. So right there, start it off at 0, and then just go 1, 2, 3, 15, and bring it up to 100 as well. So now we have the animation right there. And now all we have to do is just go where we want it to fade out. So let's say about 3 and a half seconds, somewhere right around there. And then we're just going to basically do the inverse of this. So we're going to click on the opacity, start it off at 100, 1, 2, 3, bring it down to 0, and then go back to that keyframe the first keyframe here, and then just do the exact opposite with the scale. So start at 16, 1, 2, 3, bring this down to 0, and there we have it. Now we have it come in and go out. And so we're going to go back to fit, look at it one more time, it's looking good. There we go, looks great. So now let's cut off the very end. So all we have is this right here. Now we can right click on this, and then go up to export as motion graphics template, give it a name. Instagram call out. We want it to put it in the local templates folder, include the video thumbnail, click OK. It's going to go ahead and export it for us. And now if we go into the browse, it's going to refresh. And it'll be in here uh, under I. So let's go down to Instagram. And there it is right there. So now we can delete this one, drag this in and we're good to go. It works anywhere, as you can see right like this. I can drag this in a multiple different times at multiple different points, and it'll always come in at the, ex it'll always be exactly what we created. So any other footage, we can just drag and drop this now, and now we have a nice Twitter 
or a nice Instagram call out. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and the subscribe button. Make a video every other day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.